Aloha, welcome back to my Q&A. Uh, I got a lot of questions this week because I remembered and I started early. So let's try to get this another 10 minutes because I like only uploading one video because I'm lazy. Okay, my first question, uh, actually she gets two questions this week. Uh, my first question is from Vanessa. Uh, my, her first is, uh, who's your favorite tag team partner and why? Um, I've only had two... Uh, excuse me, three tag team partners in my life. I've had uh, Ricky Suave, who I haven't heard of in uh, quite a long time. Uh, I've, I've had Pretty Boy Eric Killer, that was my first tag team partner. And my uh, most recent and current tag team partner is Sebastian Cruz, and I guess uh, he is my favorite. Uh, you know, we've gotten to travel many, many miles together, uh, like I have uh, with my other tag team partners, but there's just uh, a little more of a connection that him and I have had as compared to uh, you know my other tag team partners and you know we've been doing a great run as the uh, AIWF World Tag Team Champion so I guess since that's another reason is because we are the most successful tag team excuse me uh, I've been the most successful as, as him as my tag team partner so I would go with that um, your next question is uh, what does your name mean uh, Keikoa means uh, strong brave warrior uh, it's actually a warrior name a Hawaiian warrior name um, you know, uh, it, it's hard to depict, uh, you know, I believe, I can't really explain uh, how to break down the name, but I, I'm, to my understanding, that's what the, uh, that's what my name means. Um, next question is from Devin. If you could choose, uh, what was your favorite wrestling match? Uh, and I haven't been able to answer this. I've been asked this multiple, multiple, multiple times again. Um, but now I can finally answer this. My favorite wrestling match of all time is the match that I just had this past weekend with Adam Cole. Um, Adam, Adam and I have been wrestling on numerous occasions and we've just been getting each match better and better and better. And this past match, I'm very, very proud of. Um, you know, there's a couple people that uh, might have said that we are the two best wrestlers in the world and I, and I am greatly appreciative of those type of compliments. And I'm glad that they liked the matches as, as much as, uh, as I did. Um, and I'm, as, I'm so fortunate to be able to get to work with him and to call him my brother, you know, someone in the, that I consider very close to, to me, basically part of my family. Um, so, yes, uh, the match that I just had at, at East Coast Wrestling Association in Newark, Delaware, this past Saturday, Adam Cole. Favorite match all time as of right now. Uh, my next question is from Tommy. Uh, do you want to play Call of Duty with me? We're already friends on PS3. And unfortunately, I don't have Call of Duty, um, but I am going to, uh, excuse me, I am going to pick up the new Assassin's Creed video game, so if you want to play that, that's the game you're going to, uh, you're going to need to get, um, and then we can play online. Um, my next, qu my next question, and she gets two, because she's just that sweet, is, uh, from Melissa. Our first question is, who would you pay $40 to cuddle with you like a baby while shirtless, while singing your favorite song? and feeding you whatever you want, including bacon, as long as they're not allergic to pork. And who would I pay $40 to? Um, anybody? Excuse me. Hang on. Let me, let, me, let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Who would I pay? Anybody that's going to get me booked. How's that? That's a funny answer. No. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll stick with that first answer because I, I hope that made you laugh. Um, your next question is, hypothetically speaking, if you walked into a room and found someone naked and unconscious, would the first thing you do is call 911? Yes. Yes, I would call 911. You're silly. You're silly. I just heard you curse. And I bet you're crying. Alright, next question is from Carol. Uh, who's one wrestler you would like to fire? And I don't really have that kind of power, but I guess if there's one wrestler that I don't want to watch anymore or don't want to work with anymore. I can't really answer that uh, because unfortunately as many great people as there are in this business there's a lot of negative people in this business and there's a lot of people that I wish wouldn't have stepped into my uh, into our line of excuse me our line of work so I can't just pick one uh, there so you know but that's just my opinion. So, sorry I can't answer your question. My next question is from Jason. What's the scariest thing to ever happen to you in your life? The scariest thing to ever happen to me in my life is when uh, three gentlemen decided to 
rob with guns the home that I was living at at the time. I was living in Center City, Allentown, and three gentlemen decided to try to rob my home along with my roommates, and I was there for the entire thing. And long story short, I was basically trapped inside my home while there was gunmen throughout the house, and uh, my friend Corey, his brother, Sean Evans, got shot, and he passed away a week later, so that was a very unfortunate time but it's very very scary when you know you're basically staring death in the face and there's nothing that you can do about it and you're just trapped very very scary and I'm very fortunate that I made it out and I'm very fortunate that no one else was hurt and uh, you know that's what makes me appreciate life so much is uh, you know those kinds of things that you go through that uh, you don't know why they happen but they do so that's the scariest thing I've ever gone through uh, my next question is from Tasha. If you could turn back time, would you relive high school and do anything different? Um, and my answer is, would I relive high school? Yes, I would. Um, I went to college, and I loved high school so much more. High school, it, it, you just there's so many people that I've lost touch with, and you know, high school just kept everyone together. And you know, you saw the same people every day, and you saw them in the halls, and it was like a, a cool thing to do, and you know, and, and study halls and everything of that sort. I loved high school, you know, and as much as I, as, as I loved high school, I also hated high school because for those of you who don't know, I wasn't the most popular kid in school. You know, I was, I was nerdy. I had glasses. I had no idea what to do with my hair. I was very, very skinny kid. Uh, I was kind of shy. So, you know, I wasn't popular. So a lot of people picked on me. And the reason that I would relive it over again is because you know, uh, what happened in high school basically pushed me to to achieve my dreams as much as I did, as much as I, you know, as much as I, I did, because, you know, everyone told me that I wouldn't make it, and they told me I wasn't big enough, and they told me that I, ha I had no shot, and it was those words that gave me such a great motivation to pursue wrestling, to get bigger, to you know, just overall change my appearance, it changed my life, and I would do it over again in a second, especially um, Mr. Krebs' class, loved his math class, we had so much fun. Um, my next question is from Jen, I'm not going to get this done in, in 10 minutes, hopefully, you know, I got a minute, two minutes. Uh, how or when did you learn to do all those flips in the ring, and did you ever get seriously hurt doing them? Um, I started when I was seven years old. Uh, I saw a movie called Only the Strong uh, that my sister was watching. Um, and, you know, they were doing all these kinds of crazy flips, and I was like, I can do that. So I just jumped on my couch and did a backflip off my couch and just kept doing it and doing it and doing it until I could, like, land on my feet. And then ever since then, I've just been trying flips and doing all types of crazy things. And no, I've never been seriously hurt. I've knocked my head a couple times, but, you know, you get back up. Next question is from Tylee. Uh, what's on a five alarm burger? And for those of you who don't know what a five alarm burger is, it is one of their premier burgers at Red Robin. Uh, and what on a five alarm burger is a sesame seed bun with chipotle mayonnaise, coast to coast coverage, with the burger, pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, salsa, lettuce, tomato does guacamole go on that? no guacamole doesn't go on that yeah that's it yeah that's it that's everything and then uh, I believe it was six ounces of steak fries I don't remember fries that's most of the ingredients you gotta give me credit I've, it's been a while I almost got that I think I did get that I'm gonna check that um, yeah, I'm definitely not getting this under 10 minutes. Uh, let's see. My next question is from Greg. Uh, what's the most annoying thing a fan has ever done to you? I think just the most annoying thing is there, there's two things. One, that someone, like, will message me, and then if I don't get back to them in, like, uh, you know, in the time that they think that I should have, like, an hour, you know, they'll message me again, like, oh, I guess, I guess, I guess you don't want to talk to me. And then it's just, like, annoys, that annoys the hell out of me. Or, like, 
they'll say like, oh, I guess I won't come to any more shows now since you don't want to talk to me. And I'm like, I'm busy. Like, I can't get to all your messages. And the other, you know, the other annoying thing is when someone will send me a message via Facebook and they'll just say, hey, 